right, so I got my rugged obsidian 45 caliber suppressor today. Finally, six months. Today is April 22nd. I submitted for it, bought it on uh, the day before Halloween. So this is going to go on my Scorpion. Um, I got a 45 caliber because I also have a 45 caliber pistol. So I figured get that and I can use it on everything underneath it. So what I've done already to my rifle is I took the flash hider off, flash suppressor, whatever you want to call it. Took it off, put the thread protector on. So now we have the threads. It's a uh, half inch by 28. So I had to purchase the piston for it. That goes with the suppressor. So this is my unboxing, my unveiling video of the can. So I'm going to take this 5 8 piston out first, drop in my half inch piston. Once we get this put together, of course, you know, I'm going to have to shoot it. Somebody's got to do it. The cool thing about this that I, that kind of attracted me to it is that take the full length here and thread the end off and make it shorter. So now it's shorter. So I've reduced that length to that. I mean, it's not a huge difference. I just got to figure out exactly. I didn't realize you could pull baffles out. <laughs> so you can pull all the baffles out of the, the can. So that's nice. They all come apart so you can clean them. So that's pretty cool. It didn't come with a tool to tighten these this down. So I haven't even looked at the instructions. I probably should. I'll take a look at the instructions. We'll get her put together and do a little bang bang or a little pew pew pew. pew. See how she runs. There we go. Cool. I dig it. Points. One thing I did learn as I was talking about this being able to tighten and loosen the end cap you can use a piston stick that in there and use that that's pretty cool so we'll go ahead and mount it and we're starting with the short end first and then we'll go shoot this sucker so i did a super unmanly thing earlier when i went to the gun store to pick this up um this is what she looks like Went in there and told my buddy, I said, man, I just did the most only manly thing on the planet. He said, what's that? I said, I just had my wife bring me to the gun store to pick up the suppressor. All right, here we go. We're going to shoot it with the short configuration first. It's raining out. I typically wouldn't do this, but I'm kind of excited. So, Take the boom out, but man, that sucker was loud. Typically with uh, suppressors, the more you shoot them, like mufflers, the more they'll quiet down. So I'm going to go and put that extension on and see how that sounds. All right, so Junior was over there taking a leak. All right, it was here to here with the extension, and I added that on, so it's a bit longer. That's what she said. <laughs> so we're going to crack one off and see if it got any quieter. That's that's the, they say there's a few decibels from the long. The short. All right, let's see what happens. All right, not a whole heck of a lot of difference. They say it's a few decibels, and they're right. It's a few. It's not noticeable, in my opinion. Could I shoot this without Ear Pro comfortably? Yeah, I mean, I'm half deaf anyway from doing crap like this. Yeah, I mean, I dig it. Before, you're going to get the boom. Bing! You're really going to get some ringing ears. So this suppressor is all they really do. You're going to get the snap and the crack. They just take the boom out, unless you're shooting subsonic ammo. Shooting subsonic ammo, night and day. It's going to go from... That crack, that loud crack, the more, I mean, literally, with the right ammo and the right suppressor, all you really hear is the action. The action on the gun will be louder. And I'm glad I got it. I'm looking forward to putting it on, running on a Glock 9mm and my 1911, once I get barrels for it. All right, that's it. Rugged Obsidian, the new Gucci. This is my third. I've got three, uh, two other suppressors. I've got an old Gym Tech 5.56, five, probably 15 years old. And then I've got a Silencer Omega 308 that I run on my 308 gun, my Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, and my 5.56 gun with the thread adapters, quick attach thread adapters. Yeah, six months. I dig it. I'm cool with it. That's it. Later. All right, so Junior and I just went, Junior, my son, Colton, his name's not Junior, I just call him Junior. So we just went and bought some ammo, the right ammo for shooting suppressed firearms. Yesterday when we shot for the first part of the video, we shot 115 grain, whatever brand it was. But it's 115 grain, ball. So that's zip and that's whatever the muzzle velocity is on that. It's over 1,200 feet per second. So we just went to 417 guns and bought our heavier grain ammo. So this is 150 grain, 150 grain, Centec action pistol, so it's for a competition shooting. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it's for knocking down steel if you're shooting minor on 9mm. So this has got some more thump to it. Travels at 
890 feet per second. So this thing is going blunk and lobbing them out. So this should be really quiet. The second box we got is 147 grain. I don't know the muzzle velocity on this, but it's not going to be much further off of that. So both of these should perform well. What I'm going to do is jam up a, it's a 20 round mag for the Scorpion. So I've got two rounds of 115 grain ball, and then I'm going to put in two rounds of 150 grain of the uh, action pistol round. Kind of interesting looking. So two rounds of that. All right, so I've got this mag stacked up. The first two rounds is 115 grain, then the 150 grain Federal, and then the 147 grain Agula. So we're gonna fire this off and you guys will be able to hear the difference and the uh, from 115 to 150. So it's 115, 150, 147. All right, let's do it. So you can totally tell the difference in the heavier bullets because it's slapping the snot out of that steel. Very cool. A lot more quiet from 115, the 150, and then the 147. So the 150, I shot 115 and 150 right here on the steel swingers and the 147 up on the hill at the humanoid target. Very cool. I dig it. thing about suppressors is you got to make sure they get cranked down well. They're nice and tight to make a good seal or you'll get some of that gas escaping and blow by. Also, if you've been shooting a lot, don't touch your can because it's going to be hot. Yeah, I dig it. All right, that's it.